Call me this the name of Jesus. Ow! 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 Come on! Three, two, one! After throwing our first pop-up revival in New York City, which was powerful, we prayed about having another pop-up revival in a different city. After hosting a planned revival in San Diego, California, we were led to host our next pop-up revival at Venice Beach, located in Los Angeles. We gave people a 24-hour notice, and many showed up. At Venice Beach. So many were hungry for Jesus, and many gave their life to Christ. In Jesus' name. Many were delivered. Come on. Healed and baptized at Venice Beach that night. We found out later that some even drove we, from as far as seven hours away. We came from seven hours away just to make it here tonight. To experience the revival fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, son of Christ. Deep within, some of y'all might lose your voice tonight. Praise God, that's a good thing. Strengthen up those vocal cords, amen. And we're gonna praise him on the count of three. I want, I want us to praise him so loud that people over there, people in the marijuana shops, hey, I used to come here. So this to me is something special because now I'm actually working for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's different, hallelujah. So we're gonna praise him at the top of our lungs from deep within. For y'all on the end over there, if you see people say, hey, come on, come join us. Because we want to get unbelievers to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, souls will be saved, demons will be casted out, people will be healed. I know that and I always know there's spectators that come to see if it's real. Praise God. So a lot of you are, are gonna be born again tonight because before you didn't really believe, but you won't believe tonight. Amen. So y'all ready? On the count of three, I want us to praise. I'm, you ready, babe? Ready. We're going to praise. We're going to praise and praise. And let's praise for what? 20 seconds? A minute. They said a minute. A th 30 seconds is good. An hour. An hour. Y'all ready? All right. Three, two, one. Yeah. We're gonna get into some worship. We're gonna worship the Lord. The atmosphere is gonna shift some more. And then I'm gonna give a word. And then we're gonna get into an altar call. Hallelujah. We worshiped the Lord after praising him. But before we could get to praying for mass deliverance, healing, and for those who wanted to dedicate their lives to Christ, the gospel had to be preached. Jesus Christ, the fullness of God bodily, an all-powerful spirit, God came into a vessel. So if you want to know what God looks like, look at Jesus. If you want to know his personality, look at Jesus. In the Old Testament, they would speak about the Christ to come. They would speak about him going up on a tree, on a tree. They didn't know it was a cross that from Roman centurion. They didn't know that, but they had to believe. Everyone say faith. faith. And what would happen? They would keep doing works. They would have to sacrifice the best animals they had because there needed to be blood. So all the tribes of Israel would have to make atonement, sacrifice for their sin. And blood would have to be, would have to be shed. Why? Because blood is life, right? Everyone say blood is life. And he was born into this world. He went from city to city, casting out devils, healing the sick, raising the dead, preaching about the kingdom, moving in supernatural power. Everyone say supernatural. So the gospel is very simple. One sin sends you straight to hell. If you've lied, if you've stolen, if you've cheated, if you've cursed, one of those sins sends you to hell. But Jesus came here to be perfect, sacrificed himself, laid his life down, shed his blood, and his blood, which is a perfect sacrifice, never sinned, untainted, now wipes away all our sins that we've committed and will commit. So, if we believe he's our Lord and he saved us by his blood and we believe he rose from the dead and we repent. Everyone say repent. repent. But when you truly have that heart, that the mind of I'm repenting, that heart of I believe, God knows when you come up to his altar tonight and you truly have that heart and mind of repentance and belief, the Holy Ghost will fill you. I promise you. So, there are people here who have not surrendered to God. You want to sit here and say you love me and believe in me, but then act as a friend of me? In front of your face, I love you, but then behind your back, man, I hate this dude. That's that's what we do when we're lukewarm. Amen. So some of you have been lukewarm. Some of you have been living with the, in the world with no conviction. Some of you never gave your life to Christ. Some of you did give your life to Christ. You did. But then you went back to the world, and now you want to come back to Jesus. Praise God. He is with his arms wide open, like, come back, my son and my daughter. 
Jesus literally loves you more than anyone could. So all we do is rely on him and go through life and he gives us the ability, the power, the peace, the love that doesn't make any sense. He gives us what we've been really looking for. Amen. So what we're going to do right now is what we always do is we're going to pray for people that um that need to give their life to Christ. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, for you to touch their hearts, their minds. You already have been and I pray that you do it right now even more. The ones who need to surrender, they know if you come as you are to Jesus, he will give you the power and he will free you and deliver you. He wants you to come as you are and he will change you. So Holy Spirit, I pray right now you touch them. If you want to give your life to Christ, raise your hand up high. High, high, high. Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. We're going to be baptizing people and everything. So what I want to do in the count of three is all those people who are raising their hand to come run to this altar right here and I'm going to pray for you. One, two, three. Come run to the altar. We then I prayed mean, over those who were giving their life to Christ that night. Over 30 people surrendered their life to Jesus. But before we could get into baptisms, deliverance had to break out. When I count to three, every demon is coming up and coming out because the Bible says in the book of Luke 1019 He's given us authority over all demons. One, two, three. Ow! Ow! Don't you this the name of Ow! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Ow! 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 Everything good in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's give it up for Jesus. The Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You can't vape and, and, and kill your body and say it's okay. Anybody smoking or have anything on you, alcohol that you want to bring up? Anybody? Raise your hand. Stripper bag was given up today. Let's give it up for Jesus. Amen. A woman gave up a bag containing items from when she was a stripper. Okay, this is very simple. The Bible says that by his stripes we are healed. The whips, the lashes, the torture that he, that he went through allows us to be healed. You know why? Because he never backed down. The pain in the flesh never caused him to say, I don't want to do this no more. He overcame the flesh by being beat and not giving up. By his stripes we are healed. He overcame, he overcame. three enemies. The world, the world, the flesh, the flesh. and the devil. the devil. So because of that, we have the ability to be healed. Amen. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to pray for healing. The Holy Spirit is going to heal. And people are going to come up here and testify about God's goodness. Amen. Jesus Christ, every spirit of infirmity to loose. Loose, leave. Every demon causing sickness, come out. Come out. In Jesus' name, if you just got healed, raise your hand and raise it high. Hallelujah. Come to the front so you can testify. Were you just healed of something physically? Right now, my back was hurting a lot. It was, what was it? One through ten before? Ten. And what is it now? Zero. Let's give it up for Jesus. My back felt really, really tight. I had a really bad sciatica. We were getting in the cold. I could feel my back tightening up. And afterwards, I just felt all the pain go away. My back feels like... My back feels great right now. I feel no pain. I can bend forward and it doesn't hurt anymore. How long were you dealing with it? Like three years. Three years. And right now you won't feel nothing. I don't feel anything. Go ahead, let's see. You bend down like that. <laughs> wow. Man. Let's give it up for Jesus. <laughs> wow. My stomach. I was stomach. told I had gastritis for like four years taking pills. Uh, uh, protonics. Went away. The pain just left. It was bubbling right now. It was like acid. It was just reflex. And as soon as you prayed for stomach. It went down. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I saw a vision. I like, closed my eyes and it was Yeah, I, I'm like tripping out right now. <laughs> Why? Because it's gone. It's gone. I'm healed. My knees, my knees were hurting really bad. I, I've had it for years where I, ha I get really bad knee pain on like this. One, like one through ten, what one, was it before? One through ten was like a probably like a nine. And what do you feel now? I feel like a like a zero. It was quite. Amen. Let me see you jump. No pain. No pain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's give it up for Jesus. Hallelujah. I had pain in my hip area. I've had it for a long time. Probably like of over a few years. And okay. the pain is just, it felt so light that I almost thought I was just like, no, it couldn't happen. Did I'm like, <laughs> and I had pain in my toe and my toe's always hurting. And I can literally bend my toe now where before I couldn't even bend it. Let's give it up for and Jesus. What was your pain? So I was struggling with acid reflux, H. pylori, heart palpitations, and heart pain. Um, my heart pain decreased the first time you prayed, and my acid reflux went away the second time. Wow. Praise God. Amen. Can I ask you a question? 
Do you deal with fear? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been suicidal? Yeah. Okay. Do you, is, is it recent? Yeah. Let's pray for her. Renounce, renounce that. My wife's going to pray for you. You're going to get freed up. Let's give it up for the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Who's ready for baptisms? So everybody's going in the water with me? For real? I, I've never, um, I've never tested the water in Venice during this time. Is it, is it really cold for real? Praise God. Baptism is an important event in the believer's walk with Jesus Christ that symbolizes new life with the symbolic use of water. The Greek root word baptizing means to plunge, immerse, sink, hence to wash, to be immersed. The Bible talks about water immersion baptism in which a believer makes a public confession of their faith. These Bible verses about baptism give us guidance for the meaning of baptism for repentance, declaration of faith, and new life in Jesus Christ. Using wisdom, we baptized everyone at the same time. Everyone getting baptized, look at me. Say this with me. Say, I believe. I believe. Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. He was buried. He was buried. And, he and he rose on the third day. I died of myself. I died myself. And I lived for Christ. And I lived for In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Died going to the water. Oh, the way under. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's give it up for Jesus. All right, you guys listening. So the same way you just went under the water fully, you're gonna go, you're gonna immerse in the Holy Spirit fully too. You all ready for that? So just like Jesus seen his disciples and he breathed on them and they received the Holy Spirit, he also told them to wait to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. So you guys have received the Holy Spirit by your faith in Christ, but now you're gonna be baptized in the power with the evidence of tongues, the gifts being stirred up, amen. Amen. Very simple, you are saved by grace through what? Faith. You heal the sick by what? You cast out demons by what? Faith. So you speak in tongues by? Faith. You prophesy by? Faith. You heal by? Faith. Words of knowledge by? Faith. So everything's faith. Amen. Amen. So what we're going to do now is we're, I'm going to pray for you guys to receive the Holy Ghost. And then you guys, by faith, are going to open up your mouth and the Holy Ghost is going to fill your belly with rivers of living water. Some of you might begin to feel heat, warmth, electricity, tingling, whatever it is. The power of God is going to come upon you and baptize you. Some of you are already feeling His power. So it's opening up your mouth in faith and praying. Gonna, and if you already pray in tongues, pray with me. Amen. We're going to do this in order. Y'all ready? So say this. Say, Jesus, Jesus. Baptize, me baptize me in your power, in your power. Right, now. right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Let's pray. Riba di alaba sorre. Riba kata. There you go. Saka rebete. You go. Kali abaso. Keep going. Sekere kete. Many were baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Do you do you sometimes rely on men for your, for your to feel good? Pretty pretty recent too. Did you break out of the relationship? Breaking. You're breaking it right now. Be done with it. Are you willing to rely on the love of God rather than the, the love of any man or whatever to that this with that's lust? That's not love. And can you wait till marriage? So you're ready to get freed. Yep. Say this, sister. Say, I renounce any unclean spirit of witchcraft, of witchcraft. and Jezebel. Jezebel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I'm going to pray. Come out now. Come out. Come out. Ow! 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 All rejection leave and every spirit of Jezebel leave. Everything left leave. Leave! In Jesus' name. Ow! And any spirit of pride leads to any lying, deceitful spirit leads to in the name of Jesus. Ow! <laughs> any spirit that causes her to lie to feel better. I dealt with that too. In Jesus' name, dude. What do you need prayer for? Uh, I was in New Age and I uh, got like a chakra healing and they did uh, like hip Perfect. You ready for deliverance? Yeah, they did like hypnotherapy too. Oh, perfect. Which I, so I you ready for I freedom? Yeah. Say, I renounce all New Age. I renounce all new age. And all witchcraft. And all witchcraft. The power of God. The power of God. Is all I need. Is all I need. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every unclean spirit. Ow! In the name of Jesus Christ, leave her stomach. Leave, 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 leave. Ow! 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 Leave. Unwrap from her back. Snakes go unwrap. In the name of Jesus, you come out of her stomach. Come off her mind. Every lying spirit. And I break every spirit spouse from any witchcraft she did, any contract or covenant that she took in the spirit, 
I break that too in the name of Jesus Christ. The, over, the only covenant she has now is the covenant that she made with Jesus by his blood. In Jesus' name, by the blood of him. Come out of her. Come out. Everything leave in the name of Jesus Christ. All witchcraft spirits of new age leave. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Shazabel, come out of her. Come out of her, wicked witch. Leave her. You will not prevail her power. She is called to prophesy. Jezebel, you will not stop that. Ow! There we go. In Jesus' name. Let's give it up for Jesus. Hallelujah. Go to the abyss. Go to the abyss in the name of Jesus. Ow! You can't stay. Leave. Leave. I come in that spirit that came in. Leave. Leave. Come out. Her too. Come out. Come out. Come out. I'll let it go. Leave. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Leave. 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 Ow. Ow. You're not gonna kill him. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ow. Leave him. In the name of Jesus. Come out. All the way. 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 All the way.